Hello guys, welcome to our class. Um, for this particular class, we are going to be looking at properties of fields, fields, electric lines, magnetic lines of force. We are going to look at different types of field. We have magnetic field, electric field, magnetic line of force, electric line of force. Okay, so please get your writing materials ready and then be prepared for the class. But before we go, please, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please kindly subscribe. Click on the notification bell so that when we upload a new video, you, uh, YouTube will notify you. This is normal science tutorials online. We are bringing physics direct to your doorstep. You can reach us via the WhatsApp channel that I'm showing on your screen. And you can also, if you have any challenge or any problem, you can always contact us. Besides that, please invite your friends, invite your colleagues. Is that okay? If you are preparing for JAM, you are preparing for WIAC or any of these examinations, this channel is specially created for you. So please try as much as possible. Go through the videos. You can replay them and replay them and replay them so that you get a better understanding on the, on the topics. And please also solve problems. The only more problems you solve, the, the more you understand the concepts and principles of physics. Okay, so please let's do that and then you become a better you in physics. So please let's go to our class for today. We are looking at properties of feed, magnetic feed, electric feed, magnetic lines of force and electric feed lines of force. Okay, so let's go straight to our class. Right, so we are looking at force fields and a force field is defined as a region of space under the influence of some physical agencies such as gravitational field, magnetic field and electric field. So a force field can either be a gravitational field, a magnetic field and electric field. So force field are uh, forces whose source are not in contact with the body they influence. So you can experience their effect, but they are not actually in contact with the body in which they influence. Is that okay? Like when you talk about um, gravitational force or gravitational feed, you don't see it, but it is what keeps you moving. It is what attracts any object that is thrown up. It is what attracts the object down. So that gravitational field is not in contact with the object that is acting on, but you can feel the effect. Alright, so we have scalar force field and we also have vector force field. Scalar force field are field that has just magnitude but no direction. Example is temperature. Okay, so yes, you can feel the hotness of a body. Yeah, so you can feel it and all that. Now, vector force field, these are field that has both magnitude and direction, like gravitational field magnetic field and electric field all these are field that has magnitude and their direction okay so gravitational field this is a force field that affects every object that has mass every object that has mass the act exact gravitational attraction on every object in it and gives it an acceleration known as acceleration due to gravity so acceleration due to gravity is represented by symbol G. All this we have discussed before in some of our um, earlier topics. So you can actually relate with this, right? Acceleration G varies from place to place on the Earth's surface. All right, so that is true. And that is the weight of an object varies, but the mass remains a constant. Okay, so for free fall acceleration, when the mass of the body is equals to one, then the force of gravity will be equals to acceleration due to gravity. So an object that is experiencing this is said to be experiencing free fall of gravity. And it is it has been proven that in the absence of friction or air resistance, all body will fall to the earth at the same with the same acceleration irrespective of their masses. This was actually demonstrated by the physicist Galileo Galileo, right? Uh, I'm sure you can you can relate with that, right? So hence is too when it is released with a feather from the top 
top of the tall building, the two we get to the ground at the same time if you neglect air resistance. But when there is air resistance, definitely the stone will get to the ground before the feather. Alright, so this is gravitational field. Magnetic field. We know what a magnet is, right? And um, we, in our everyday life, we may have come across a bar magnet. So we know that a magnet will attract any metallic body or any metallic object. Okay, so the pull of a magnet is the portion of the magnet where is where is magnetic attraction appears to be strongest. So a magnet has two poles. Magnet normally has a north and a south pole. So the ability of a magnet to attract a magnetic substance is called magnetism. So magnetic substance are objects that can be attracted by a magnet, most especially metals. Yes, most especially metals. So just like we uh, talked about charges, if you bring uh, if two poles or uh, if two similar poles are brought near each other, that is like pole, like north pole to north pole, you will observe a repulsion. Okay, so which means that if you bring two magnets together and you observe repulsion, it means that those two poles, those two sides that you are bringing together, they they have the same uh, they are the same pole. But if they are charged, it means they, that they have different pool. So a north and a south pool will attract. Why a north and a north pool will repair? Also, a south and a south pool brought together or brought close will, will repair. So this is on like poles. There's attraction. Like poles, north to north poles. There's repulsion. So this is just similar to what we discussed when we talked about uh, charges. Is that okay? So that is that for magnetic force field. Okay, in a later slide, we are going to look at the the line, the magnetic flux. Okay, we we'll look at the magnetic lines of force. But for now, we are just talking about the force field. Okay, so here. This is actually the magnetic lines of force. Okay, so magnetic lines of force is a region or space around a magnet in which the influence of the magnet can be felt or detected. So the direction of the lines of force or the direction of the field can be detected using a compass needle. So a magnetic field is a force field. It has magnitude and direction and that is what you are seeing here. So, the magnetic field are represented by magnetic lines of force. So, the magnetic lines of force of a magnet of a magnetic field is a line along which a free north pole will tend to move in the field. Magnetic lines of force run normally from the north to the south. So, this is how to draw magnetic lines of force. They run from the north pole to the south pole. You can see the direction. Okay, so if you bring two unlike poles together, this is the type of line of force that you will have. You see, this in this case you have a attraction, right? So this is what the lines of force or the lines of magnetic field will look like. There is attraction. Then, but if there are two, if the two poles they are similar. If the two poles they are like poles or similar poles, you see there is a portion. Look at the lines of force. They will not come together. They will not cross each other. There is a portion. Okay? So this is how to draw magnetic lines of force. This is how to draw magnetic lines of force. Like poles we repair or like poles we attract. The lines of force we attract when they are on like poles then for light poles they will repair okay so you need to take note of this and then know the direction of your magnetic lines of uh, force in a magnetic force field so another force field that we just mentioned is electricity or electric force field 
So in this place, we are going to look at electric lines of force. Electric lines of force. An electric field is a region of space where a charged body experiences an electric force. So the direction of an electric field at any point is given by the direction of the force acting on a small positive charge placed at that point. Okay. So electric line of force is an imaginary line drawn in an electric field in such a way that the direction at any point gives the direction of the electric field at such a point. So we have uh, two types of electric fields. We have the uniform electric field where the field lines are straight and you have the variable field where the lines of the force are curved. Okay, so basically all that we have said here is what is represented Okay, what is said is what is represented in this diagram. So, field lines about a positive point charge are radially outward, and field lines about a negative point charge are radially inward. So, which means that the lines of force in electric field runs from the positive to the negative. So, if you join all these together, we see that the okay, so they run from positive to negative. So this is a positive charge and this is the field lines around it and this negative charge and these are the field lines around it. Just please try to remember this drawing. They are practical drawings that you will be asked in your examinations. Okay, so just last as we drew for magnetic lines of force, this is all what we also have for electric lines of force. So lines of force starts only on positive charge and end only on negative charge. Lines of force do not cross each other. In a uniform field, the lines of force are straight, parallel and uniformly spaced. Lines of force indicate the direction of electric field. Lines of force are imaginary. So like in magnetism, like charges repair while on like charges attract. So if you look at this, this is a positive charge, this is a negative charge. These are on like charges, so there is attraction. Okay, so these are on like charges and there, there is attraction. And the lines, the electric lines of force, they run from the positive to the negative. So that when they ask you to draw electric line of force, you know how to draw them. Okay, then on similar charges, this is positive to positive, you now see that there is a repulsion. There's repulsion. The lines of force they are running out. There's repulsion. Okay, so there's repulsion. So electric lines of force between like charges. So there is repulsion when the charges are the same, and there is attraction when the charges are on like charges or when the charges are difference okay so guys this is all about um, electric field properties of feed magnetic feed and um, magnetic lines of force and electric lines of force that's okay so thank you so much this is where we are going to stop this class but before i go Please subscribe to our channel, click on the notification bell so that when we upload a new video, YouTube will notify you. We thank you so much. If you are a returning subscriber, please give us a like, give us a thumbs up if you like what we are doing. Also, invite your friends to come and enjoy what you are enjoying. As I've said before, we want to make you a better you in physics. You can always reach us with any problem you have in physics through the WhatsApp number that is showing right on your screen. Is that okay? So, Thanks, this is Normal Man Science to Source Online, and we hope to see you in our next uh, class. Thanks.